All right, guys, so we're here. We're gonna check the uh, dryers because these um, these TXV screens have been getting plugged constantly. So this is what we found so far. In come in, pressure from the condenser, 170. Then you got the dryer. And as soon as you exit the dryer, 145. So we got about a 35 uh, PSI drop across these dryers right here. So we're gonna go ahead and change that. Once I change these, um, I'm gonna have to go re recheck my TXV because I can guarantee you I'm gonna be flooding back. So once again, guys, about 170, 145. That's no bueno. I can almost guarantee you once we pull these out, they're gonna be just bad so uh then our sight glass is full oh wait we're flashing now it was not flashing a minute ago so yep that's what we're gonna do today guys gonna knock this out all right guys we're back we're gonna use these uh high acid dryers because this rack's already lost one compressor two compressors lately and we're gonna go ahead and do that dryer. But my buddy just found this. We got a leak right there. We're gonna verify it, but that's oil. So we're gonna verify that, but first we're gonna change these dryers out. Um, that's already been repaired once or twice. So we're gonna have to see what we're gonna do about it. We discovered a leak. So of course, we have to get our torches, vacuum pump. Um, I had these in the van. We're gonna see if uh, these are the same part numbers, but we've I've had these in the van. So in case one of them's damaged, we have a couple extras. Um, and I have our gauges. We're gonna try to pump that, uh, that dryer shell. Got my true blue hose right here. Got a couple of degreasers. I'm just gonna go up there. We're gonna verify there's a leak. If there is, we'll fix it, and then we'll vacuum it. All right, guys, so somebody has compressor number five off. We're waiting for bids to swap it out. And here's compressor number five, break it off. Uh, I'm gonna override it at the E2 so we don't get that alarm anymore. It's uh, having a proving, a proving failure. But my buddy, Greg here, just, uh, Sprayed that joint with a bunch of uh, soap bubbles and couldn't find anything. So maybe that would that that leak's already been uh, addressed twice because the compressor was vibrating really bad. So as you can see, they replaced the compressor. Uh, so it might have just been residual uh, oil left uh, right there at the joint. So we'll verify it one more time and. Uh, we're about to get ready to start doing these dryers. A little bit of degreaser here. Uh, I can't see anything. Never used this stuff before. Got it shut off. We're just gonna verify our outlet pressure right here. Still got some pressure. Still got a whole bunch of liquid in there. Once we get it pumped down enough, we'll just vent the vapor and change those dryers out as fast as we can so we don't want to set off any alarms. We already been notified the monitoring company, so they, they know about it. All right, guys, as you can see, we uh, we moved whatever liquid was from here to there inside the dryer shell into the suction line. Make sure you have a compressor running. You don't want to slug this um, suction header with liquid. End up killing a compressor on startup. So uh, we made sure the compressors were running. 
got it down as uh, what zero psi. So now we're just gonna vent out the vapor. That'll be it. We got about one two psi. Just whatever's left in here, and he's already opening it up. So somebody tightened these bolts up pretty bad, so he's uh, having to put a little bit of umph into it. Damn. If this little guy can't get them off, it's too tight. We don't go with technical specs around here. Just loosen them up and then we'll take them off with the impact. Some activated charcoal, don't they? When you do that, the camera vibrates. Really? <laughs> Strong little drill, baby. Those yeah. of you guys that don't know, Greg is a DeWalt guy trying to convert him to Team Red. <laughs> We're getting close. Hopefully that screen's still intact. Yeah. Use the impact button. Hold on. Ah, it's cold. First impressions. Like crap. Yeah, spring the same way. Man, this lighting's not that great. Ooh. Yeah, those are pretty bad. See that? Well, these dryers did their job. Nothing really horrid. Take them apart. Looks like... God, this lighting's horrible in here. Pretty dirty in there. So we're gonna change these out. See what else. See what other issues we have. But look at all that crap. This is no bueno. We're gonna have to go get another shell. Look at that. Yep. See that? Screen's ripped, and then the inside mesh screen is also ripped. So this is no good. That. Hi right, guys, we're back from the supply house with uh, the new strainer here. So, here we go. We are live. And you can see all that vapor right there. These valves don't hold that great. Um, so whenever you pull a vacuum on something like this, don't expect to get 500 microns. Where's that spring at? So, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this spring down. All right guys, new core dryers, new screen. Let's go ahead and uh, run this up. Yeah, right there, dude. There it is. Man, this thing's cold. Hey guys, 
as we're pulling a vacuum on it now. Got a single true blue just to the canister. We're at about 1600 microns. Close the gas ballast. And we should be done here very shortly. We know those those ball valves aren't really holding that well, so we're just gonna give it a good enough vacuum and then we're gonna let it rip. Alright, hold on, let me see the uh, microns real quick. So we're at about 600 and he's closing this already so we're good close this up and we're about to introduce some refrigerant in there yeah go ahead and shut that off all right i'm gonna introduce refrigerant down that one up then we're gonna go start the rack up all right guys so we're gonna start one compressor on number four first pretty big compressor we're just gonna let that pull the suction pressure down a bit let's start with number one I'm just gonna give that a couple seconds now we we made sure we didn't slug that suction header with uh, liquid so we'll be good to go now there we go racks up and running about 180, 180 pounds, about 180 pounds, so we're good to go. We are good to go. Now we gotta go downstairs and check that TXV. I guarantee you it's flooding back. All right guys, so we're back at this case. Um, got my probes hooked up, um, that valve. Um, I just set it to the midpoint and that's where we're gonna start. Um, Got my other coworker. He's gonna go to the rack and override it to 35%, and we're gonna see what our saturation looks like uh, with a 35% EPR valve. Um, like I said in the past, 35% has worked really well. So that's what we're doing right now. I think we're gonna leave it for now. Um, I don't see it. Uh, causing an issue with uh, with uh, the valve, uh, the EPR um, being overwritten. So 